Hello, good morning, and uh, you're welcome to the Supernatural segment. The last time I was here, it was around Christmas, and I got curious, and I wanted to find out why the Israel King of Jews Church did not celebrate Christmas. And uh, I was given a lot of explanation, and true to my word, there wasn't a single verse in the Bible that supported Christmas. But Easter is here, and it's a very popular celebration amongst all Christians. But then again, the man of God says that the celebration of Easter is also questionable. Today, we are here to find out more about him, about the situation, and as usual, also learn. So make sure you stick around, and then you don't miss out. So for me, Pacho, uh, you're welcome. We are about feeling so you're about welcome on you to morning ride. Eh, me pacho, eh, me say, um, edu Easter, uh, the entiasi ni say Yesu be wuye, eh, edu je yankwa, and around that time, you know, you celebrate his death and celebrate his resurrection. I think that that is what Easter signifies, and that is what Christianity, and I say, a section of Christians, you know, have made us believe that that is what the celebration of Easter is all about. Enti no say wu un un jindi no, enti na yaba e pesi ebisa say. Uh, and the majority of the people, no, that is what they support. But let me say, Mono, you don't believe in that. Yo, me das ma mi anita. Enye se ye ne ye mpe se ye be jie diu. Ne mo mo nyangu pon se mo no enchira sa. Ne de o nyangu pon se mo no enchira sa no. Ye ndi sa achi. Ye di di ye o nyangu pon ase mo e ye sa no kre. No echi. And until now, my young G, a friend saying, Eh, San Yaman, young Pessy, a dear Hobart to so. As Yan is said, Eh, say, do Sabre ya. And can you explanations on it? So please pay attention. On young Coupon say, was it Mesophosi? Mammy Jam, Mesophosi, Mesophosi. Let's see on young Coupona or the Cassam. On young Coupona Yasam or the Cassam. See or no Nassam. On young Coupon Shroud. Yes. Matthew chapter 26, verse 1. At if you have some, or Pam Yesu Triso. But you're what? Or say why you're there. Or Pam Yesu Triso. Neba, sir. Neba, sir. Yes, we are seven in our canoe. I'm not yes, you can't say more. I live by in a siphon in every canoe. Or see, no, sir, for the sir. Satan, no, or catch in the sir for the sir. Munim, sir, can they know? I see, Munim, sir, I can only just two days. No, come there. Only two days. Na Passover no edu. No obey you on the papa nama sir. No obey you on the papa mpachoti yo. Obey you on the papa no ama sir. Wama na sell you. Wama na sell you. No obi se ma amia dita. Waya diye. Onye ashi. Inti mo okuno diya e diye. Me pacho me timi e bisa. Bisa kwa si. Si ya se boni ados mo wia se. Inti nyanko pon di ye su ba e se ombe wu enfanji obi ya ankwa. Because from Colabrim, you know, Sanya, I said, 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 I not to come and die for you, your sin. Now, so when you talk about your sin, dear, it's now for you to repent because the kingdom of God is at hand. This is the first words of his preaching, the Messiah. We, we are told to that, with all respect, now me, 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 yanko back and forth, wahakakra. Yes, say, 
Because the blood of Jesus, the word the blood of Jesus, no, is very significant in Christianity. And I believe we say you're born as Indian war cross no sooner. Ni moja na ishegu ye no. Eh 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 ni pa bonne. Inti se se na me pa sho inti ase a mi mi ni mo no no. Inti no se eh yangu na sadi ya na watch it because se se na mi se afa be 100% of Christianity. Be a 70% believe se the blood of Jesus washes away sins. Inti se se no a uche be be different no. Nam pa sho watch it che mu kaka. Pacho, ma etiefo etiefo nyango pon shiram. Etiefo nyango pon kam hupi. Pamcho. So swam para se. Africa has become massively Christian. We're going through a period of what you can call massive explosion of church, of churches. You cannot do anything among my people without being involved deeply in a religious experience. For us, religion is like your skin. You take it everywhere you go. African culture's tendency to relate all of life to the transcendent. This idea of the wholeness of all of life, a wholeness which in essence is spiritual. During the missionary days, missionaries would be concerned about order. You know, tell her to sit down, tell her to sit down, please, please. Tell that woman to shut up, please. We are worshiping. Not knowing that when you are here worshiping, the woman should shout there, you see. The spirit should, should start some things in the congregation. I think there'll be breakthroughs in people's understanding of what Christian faith is about. It's about their life. It's about now. You know those people looking for meaning in their lives, so they get up and go volunteer in Africa? I'm Gabrielle, one of those people. So I'm living my life in Ghana, but then I realize the Jewish New Year is just around the corner. And well, the thought of finding another Jew seems impossible. Yo, Shalom. In the beginning, I don't know that there are Jewish people even outside. Now, I have been introduced to the world. My dream is to become a full rabbi to my community. My dream is to study Judaism, teach my people, so that they cannot forget our tradition, our Judaism, and to better people's life. <laughs> Nobody knew say a yeah, Judaism. Eh. So, how did Jewish customs make their way here without the Jewish name? I believe the Jews in Ghana are the lost, lost ten tribes of Israel. When you have uh, one of these lost tribes. I think the word "lost" is the key to it. That you have a break in the chain, and that makes it difficult to authenticate the Jewishness. We are claiming that we're Jewish people. And Jewish people, you cannot be here alone in Ghana and say you are Jewish people unless you look for your brothers and sisters who are outside there. It's very hard for people to believe that true indeed you are Jew. Judaism is somehow not black. Like the last I checked, no one has like a genealogy book in their back pocket, like tracing all the way back to like one of the 12 tribes. No one has that. Europe 
such a small percentage of the population that it's hard to do it on your own. You know, you're going against everybody, everybody and everything out there. So you need other people. I think we were here alone, but now we are all coming together as one people. Seeing them understand the Torah and sense of appreciating Judaism, feeling it's such a, a privilege and something that they had to work so hard to get, whereas in this country so many of us have such access and don't even care. There is that feeling of responsibility for other Jews, regardless of labels. And so the notion that there might be somebody in Ghana who's doing Jewish, that's very moving to me. Right? I, I care about that. No matter how many bagels and cream cheese you eat, Quorum parties you attend, if you don't live the life, it's very, very difficult to pass it on to the next generation. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. <coughs> Thanks be to Allah and for His favors that the annual convention of Jamaat Amdiya Ghana is commencing today. But I feel that it conveyed to many Ahmadis living far away countries that should you wish to learn new ways of love and affection for the Khalifa of the age, then learn it from Ghanaian Ahmadis. In other words, you set the benchmark for new ways of sincerity, allegiance, loyalty, love, and affection for the world. So, O oh Ahmadis of Ghana, I congratulate you for you. I congratulate you for you have fulfilled your allegiance to Khilafat. The bond between Khilafat and Jamaat is such that each sincere Ahmadi is the Khalifa's beloved. But before I became Khalifa, if there was any reference to Africa, I always praised the people of Ghana. You could say that I acted as representative and ambassador of Ghana. I always say that I have never had